Margaret is the author of Creative Successful Dyslexic and today we're going to be asking her a few questions about dyslexia. Why is it important to seek a diagnosis if you think you might be dyslexic? Well, if you're at school and you're struggling and you think you might be dyslexic, it really can make all the difference to you to get a diagnosis. So it may mean you get extra time in exams, which can make the difference between passing and failing. It can help you explain to your teachers that you're dyslexic, so they shouldn't think that you're not trying your very best, you're not being lazy, um, it's just that your mind works differently. So that information is so useful to have. What about if you're an adult? Now I think whatever age you are, adult or child, it can really help you know yourself better and that, that is a great thing um, for anyone. Um, so a lot of people don't find out they're dyslexic until their children are diagnosed and that can be a real eye-opening moment for them. It can make them think, um, uh, so that's why I was struggling at school. I wasn't you know, stupid or what, whatever um, thoughts they'd had about themselves then. Um, it was just that the way their brain worked didn't quite fit in with the education system. So can school life be confusing for children with dyslexia? I think it can be really confusing. I think you can be sitting next to someone who finds work so easy and for you it is just a harder and it, that can be very puzzling, especially if you know that actually you're already very clever. So um, yes, I think confusing it can be, um, frustrating, all sorts of things. So that's why it's really important to get someone on your side. Um, go to Dyslexia Action or one of the other organisations that can really help you. Seek out sympathetic teachers, talk to your mum and dad, just get people um, who will help you and who will understand. What's the best and worst thing about being dyslexic? Um, well, what most people tell me was that um, they found school days the most difficult um, because quite often what they were really good at may not have fitted in with what they needed to do when they were passing exams. So the, the attributes they had, the things that, that they think that, that make them really special, say in the workplace, um, they, that doesn't necessarily help them pass all the exams that they were given. So um, that was the worst. Um, what most people tell me is the best is all the, the, the good bits. That, um, a lot of people tell me that the, they have a special creativity, which they put down to dyslexia, a special attention to detail, um, all sorts of positive things. And um, uh, footballers say this, artists, architects, chefs, all sorts of people um, say that though the reason they're so good at their job, or at least part of that reason, is because they're dyslexic and that the time after school was their time to shine. Thank you.